Today let us configure a simple X hotkey daemon. Now basically if you have to configure shortcuts or uh, some hotkeys on your uh, uh, computer, especially if you are using a DWM, I think it works really great with the DWM, then you can use this uh, this program called uh, simple X hotkey daemon and uh, let me demonstrate how it works and then I'll show you the configuration. So if I press uh, on my keyboard, uh, the windows shift and uh, A, it will open this uh, ULSA mixer uh, for me. Of course, you can open it yourself. If you, let us say, open uh, a terminal, let us say if I type here uh, ULSA mixer, so it will open the same thing, but for doing that, you need to first open terminal and then you need to type in also mixer, but I can do the same thing by simply using this uh, shortcut, which is uh, really handy and I can change the volume if I really need to, along with, of course, my buttons that you that I have on my laptop. Now, this is, of course, for also mixer. I, I can also do something like this. For example, I use Emacs. So if I have to, first of all, let me show you how I open Emacs how you can open Emacs in case you have Emacs, for example. So I can do Alt P for D menu and uh, I can then type in here Emacs and it will open Emacs for me. It is great, it works. And it will open Emacs in the graphical user interface, but I don't really use uh, this interface. I also uh, want to make sure that whenever I open Emacs, it will basically, uh, open a specific directory which I want it to consider as a root. For example, if I, let us say, do something like this, and if I press enter, it will basically open my uh, home directory. But I basically want uh, home within Emacs to be a directory where I keep my org files. Uh, you don't have to do it, but it is a bit handy. So instead, if I do something like uh, Windows key, which is also known as super key, uh, shift and E, it will open Emacs, same thing, but of course it will open Emacs in uh, the, uh, without the without the graphical user interface. And if I now show you my home directory, let us say if I do tilde and if I press enter, it will open a specific directory, which is basically the directory for uh, my org files. Right now I'm using uh, Dropbox to sync it uh, with my other computers, this particular directory, but I'm now thinking of using a sync thing, sync thing. I never really used it properly before, but I think it looks good and I might use it. So I can uh, cancel it. I can just get rid of uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, the Emacs. Now, how I do it now for doing this, you can of course install this, uh, application SXHKD simple X uh, hotkey daemon and uh, to configure it, you have to do few things, not very complicated, but uh, you need to know how it works. So basically there is a file that you need to modify. So you can do something like this. Uh, I'm basically using, Emacs. I'm opening Emacs, but I'm using uh, N and W to open it with like, I, I mean, I mean, if you pass N W, it will open Emacs, but in uh, without UI. So I can go to my config within my home directory and I can probably look for uh, this directory called sxhkd and there is a file, there should be a file uh, called sxhkdrc. So yes, this is a file that you can modify and if you look at the content of the file, it is uh, uh, nothing but uh, the hotkeys that you want to configure. For example, I want uh, the Windows key which is super and shift and A to open Alsa mixer. Now I want Alsa mixer to open, but I want to first open ST, which is the terminal. So I can uh, do something like this ST and then Alsa mixer. I want the Windows key, super key, and shift and E to open uh, my Emacs. Now, when I open Emacs, I don't really open Emacs directly. I basically have Emacs in a directory called as Dropbox. And for opening Emacs, I basically I, I'm basically calling another shell script, which is Emacs underscore portable dot sh. Let me show you the uh, content of uh, this particular directory, and then uh, you will understand what I mean. So there is a file here called dot uh, Emacs, uh, not dot Emacs, but Emacs 
underscore portable dot s h and if you look at this particular directory this particular file uh, shell script which is uh, opening emacs i'm basically doing two things here number one i'm setting the home directory as uh, my uh, my my org modes directory which is nothing but dropbox so i i use dropbox only for our org mode nothing else and then i am opening uh, emacs in uh, no window mode so i do this on all my computers but on dwm along with arch linux i am using uh, the simple x hotkey daemon to basically call this uh, shell script uh, to open emacs and also doing few additional things so that is the power of uh, uh, these tools you can link them together and you can make it work for you the way you want so this is all good now to of course you can uh, configure how uh, i mean you, you can configure all the hotkeys but you still have to run it you still have to run uh, simple x hotkey daemon and for doing that you can basically just do this and if you run it it will run in the terminal but I don't really want to do, to run it manually. You can also run it as a service, but for some reason it didn't work. You can basically configure a user 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 service. For example, there is a directory uh, like in your config directory. You can have uh, some user services in the home directory, but it, it didn't work for me for some reason. So what I did instead, I used uh, the x init rc file uh, that you can use for doing a lot of wonderful things for example let me open this file in emacs it will look slightly better so if you look at this file here let me just get rid of the browser so if you look at this file i am doing few things here like for example i'm setting the keyboard layout i in the previous video i, I talked about setting the uh, status bar which you can do using x set root and uh, I can also do few other things like if you want to enable copy paste you can do that uh, otherwise it will not work without this without these two commands your copy paste from uh, your uh, terminal to browser or browser to terminal will not work and i'm also starting dropbox i'm also setting the wallpaper and before i execute before i actually start uh, my dwm i am executing this uh, simple x hotkey daemon to basically make sure that uh, my i mean this will of course run in the background and it will look for it will listen for uh, different uh, hotkey combinations basically the shortcuts that i want uh, that i want to have so that i can do my work uh, properly and uh, and and uh, that is all i wanted to share in this video i hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today. Thank you very much.